Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and to November favorites. I feel like I have a good lineup for you this month. It's a good mixture of like green beauty, hair care, food, books. I don't know, I'm just like, I'm feeling good about this month. I'm actually getting ready for next month's favorites because that is the favorites of 2017. So definitely stay tuned for that video because I've been thinking a lot about the stuff that I've been using like on repeat throughout the whole year and what I think deserves that title. So if you don't wanna miss that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. It just lets you know when a new video is live. With that, let's jump in. So you may have noticed my hair is curly. I don't wear my hair curly very often in videos. And to be honest, I don't wear my hair curly that often in life, but I'm trying. I'm really trying. I'm trying to embrace my natural texture, my curls. I got them from my dad. He is a solid Afro and I gotta thank him for it but I'm definitely not short on volume when it comes to curls. The thing that I struggle with is frizz. I just feel like I get so much frizz. And since moving to California, it's been even harder. So I've been really trying to figure out the right hair care products for this type of hair. And I've gotten a lot of questions from you guys on which products I've been using. And I'm feeling really good about, you know, how things are going. Really trying to wear it more natural, get my hair to a really healthy place. I used to dye it years ago and it totally fried the ends. And it's been sort of like a five year process of trying to get my hair healthy again. I really try and limit the hot tools that I'm using. When I straighten my hair, I only straighten it once a week. So I only wash my hair once a week, that's true. But when I do that, it just helps protect my hair. But right now I'm trying just not to straighten it and embrace my natural curl. So with that, I'm gonna show you what I've been using. So if you remember last month's video, I talked about a company called Evolve and they make a deep conditioning mask that has been helping so, so much. So I'm still using that. I use it weekly, once a week, and it's been helping an insane amount. But when it comes to sort of styling my curls, I have been using the Evolve Wonder Bomb. I will say this is definitely pricey, but what I really like about this stuff is that it helps define curls without making it really hard. You know how like mousse and gel gives that like hard feeling to your hair? I absolutely hate that. So I really don't wanna be using a product that gives that texture to my hair. And this does not do that. It's all natural. It's a great company. They're San Francisco based. And it's more of like an oil gel, I would say. And it helps a lot with definition and frizz. Still working to get like all the frizz under control, but I also don't know that you can totally get the frizz under control. But, you know, do what you can. Next up for hair is the Kahina Giving Beauty Argan Oil. So I'm pretty sure this is actually made for like face, for argan oil for your face. Um, but I bought it for my hair and it's amazing. It's 100% pure organic argan oil and I just put it on the ends of my hair when it's sort of slightly damp and if I need a refresh after a couple of days, I'll just pour a little in my hands, you know, rub my hands together and just kind of smooth out my curls and I am a huge fan of this. If it's meant for your face, I'm sure it's really great, but I use it for my hair and I love it. So next up is skincare. If you watch my beauty counter haul, which I'll link to above, um, I talked about some of the products that I really, really liked. And one of them was the Cleansing Balm. I love this stuff. I use it to take off my makeup when I'm wearing you know, heavier makeup. Um, it's unbelievable. It like strips away all your makeup, but doesn't make your skin feel super dry and just like, flaky. I'm a huge, huge fan of this. And if you're interested in getting into beauty counter products, I would say this is one to start with, especially if you're into sort of oil cleansing or washing your face with oil. It's just a really, really great product. So speaking of dry skin, I have, I think I have the world's driest skin. I think that's why I love using oil-based products because I have the world's driest skin, but my lips are like impossible to tackle. I don't know why. I just, I feel like they could just take a huge like vat of greasy oil and still be dry. But I have found one thing that works for them and that is the SW Basics Geranium Salve. So this is just four ingredients, sunflower oil, carn now I can't say this, but it's a type of wax, cocoa butter and rose geranium essential oil. It's super simple, really basic. I've already made a huge dent in this. I've been using this nonstop for the last couple of months. I don't know why I haven't talked about it, but anyone who I mention it to totally agrees that this is really, really great. My only complaint is that the like top doesn't really snap on very well so that it comes off really easily. I don't know if I just got like a dud of a bottle, but you know, if they, if, if yours is like that, let me know because maybe we can pressure them to fix the bottles. But in terms of the product, it's amazing and I bring this with me everywhere. So next up, 
have to include something from Sage. Went on a little shopping spree there. If you remember a couple months ago, I talked about my favorite essential oil blend from them, and that is Goddess. I love it. It's always diffusing in my home. And so I decided I need to bring it with me everywhere I go. So I got their Goddess Roll-On. It's like a, a perfume. Jasmine is one of the main ingredients in it, and I love the smell of jasmine, so obviously I love this. You use it like perfume. You roll it onto your wrist, and you go like this and like this. I will say it doesn't have the most long-lasting wear. I would say after a couple of hours, I have to reapply it, which is totally fine because I just throw this in my bag, and it comes in a really, like, pretty little bag and I don't know, it's just a, a gorgeous product that smells amazing. So if you're looking for a natural perfume, definitely check out the ones from Sage. They're really, really great and uh, particularly Goddess because that's the one that I'm really into. Next up is food. So this is the Rice Ramen from Lotus Foods. I love these noodles so, so much. I've been really into my healing bowl recipe. It went up on the blog a couple of weeks ago and so many of you guys have made it and I'm so happy you loved it and you were asking about the noodles that I use in it. And I was actually using the forbidden rice noodles from Lotus Foods. Neither of these are the forbidden rice ones. They come in a bunch of different flavors and this one is the Jade Pearl. This is the Millet Brown. I love all the flavors. I just think the forbidden rice ones are really pretty to photograph so that's why I use those ones. But they're just, you know, they come in a pack that like actually has like a miso you know, like the, the ramen noodle packs. It comes in one of those. I never use those, I just use the noodles. I'm pretty sure you can order just the noodle packs, but these are the ones that I can most easily find at Whole Foods, so that's where I get them. I think they're really awesome and a great alternative if you don't wanna use, you know, wheat noodles or traditional rice noodles. They're just kind of like an, an elevated version of those. So next up for food, and if you've hung out with me at all in the last couple of months, this will come as no surprise to you, but it is the beef sticks from Larissa's Kitchen. A couple of years ago, if you would have told me that I was including a beef stick in my favorites video, I would have laughed at you because I didn't used to eat a lot of red meat, but I'm obsessed with these guys. The first time I tried them, I was like, whoa, okay, I don't know, mainly because I really love the bagged Larissa's Kitchen, but then the more I ate it, the more I really, really like them. It's a totally different like texture and experience from the bag stuff, but it's super convenient. So I just throw one of these in my bag and they're really high in protein. So it's one of those things where like you're running from place to place and you just need a snack that's gonna tide you over. And this does the trick. I travel with these. I was just in Minnesota and I think I brought 10 and they were all gone within a week. So I really love them. They come in three flavors, smoky sweet, original and jalapeno. The jalapeno is really spicy. So if you're not into spice, I would avoid that one. Um, but otherwise, I adore these. They're just so, so good and super convenient. Not the most attractive looking to eat, but you know, in terms of being a, a great product, I'm a huge fan. And I'm pretty sure you can get them off Amazon. So I'll include a link below, which I'll include a link to everything below. So don't worry about that, I got you covered. And last but not least, we have a book. So I don't always include books in my favorites, but I'm thinking about including more of them and possibly doing a THM book club. So if you wanna see a book club, give this video a thumbs up, it'll just let me know. And this book is the one that I'm currently loving and it is Crystal Muse. So if you listen to the podcast, you know that I had Heather and Timmy from Crystal Muse on the podcast talking all about crystals and you know, I have my like thoughts and feelings on crystals, but more than anything, I think it's really great to have like beautiful things that bring more mindfulness and joy to your life. So I think, you know, if that's something that you're into, that's awesome. If you're not, that's totally cool too. Let's not like knock anyone for being into things that you don't necessarily believe in. But what I love about this book is that it provides a lot of different rituals and sort of DIY practices that you can do that involve crystals. But more than anything, they just bring a lot more mindfulness to your life. So things like saging your space or rituals around, you know, heartbreak or even just like trying to be more intentional in your life. And that to me is really powerful. And I just love sort of how beautiful the book is and the education in there around crystals and what each one represents. So if you're, you know, sort of confused about the crystal world, I would say this is a really great place to start. Also a really great Christmas gift for, you know, sort of the, the modern mystic in your life. Um, but yeah, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of this book. I just, I think it's really beautiful. And I like that I get to learn more about crystals and just educate myself, you know, regardless of sort of people's feelings on whether crystals work or not. I don't think it really matters. <laughs> and also in books, and it's on my Kindle, so I don't actually have the book to show you, but it's kind of embarrassing, but I was thinking that since you know Christmas vacation is coming up and people love a good chiclet, I thought I would share this series that I like 
devoured over the last month, which is called Crazy Rich Asians. Not necessarily the best title, um, but there's three books in the series. I believe they're coming out with a movie soon, so stay tuned for that. Um, but if you wanna read the book before the movie comes out, I would read all three. They're just so addicting. They're all about this Asian American girl who um, has, you know, meets a guy who is from Singapore and you start to learn sort of uh, what his family is all about. And I don't know how like true everything is, um, but you learn a lot about sort of Asian culture and just really interesting things. I don't necessarily think it's the most like culturally relevant um, or appropriate at times, but if you ignore that piece, it's just a really nice, like easy read. And I think sometimes we could all use just like books that take our mind off everything that's happening in the world and aren't necessarily educational, but like just fun to read. So I would highly recommend that series if you're looking for some good chiclet. But besides that, I think that's all I have for the month of November. Stay tuned for next month's video. As I mentioned, it is going to be a huge 2017 favorites, the products I used over and over and over again. I'm guessing some of you probably know what's going to be on that list, but you know, if you're, if you're waiting to see what it is, definitely hit that subscribe button just so you don't miss that video and uh, give this video a thumbs up if you like my favorites and comment below letting me know what some of your favorites are. I love hearing from you guys about what you've been loving because it gives me ideas of stuff that I can go out and try, stuff that I can review that you guys wanna hear more about. So definitely let me know in the comments below what you've been loving. And yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will talk to you soon. Bye.